What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's talk about it. Now, here's the situation. Everybody's talking about Jaquez's remix and on the song that wasn't his. And people are freaking out. LMA song! That's LMA song! And everybody's freaking out. Who's LMA? And it's just been a big mess. Everybody's nuts. So everybody here on One Crack News, I'm going to just tell you what I've heard about it. This is basically, you know, Jaquez is the side, side Negro's number one hero. <laughs> He's their greatest American hero. He played the music just for the side brothers. So this trip remix, that's not an official remix. Well, LMA, I mean, my goodness, I, I didn't think this would be a situation that needed to be explained. But everybody liked the remix more than they liked the original. See, 50 Cent went through the same thing with Amarion. He remixed the Amarion song, Superstar. And he made Ghetto Superstar or something to it. Oh, no, it was Entourage. And 50 Cent flipped it and did a remix and called it Superstar. And everybody liked the Superstar version more than the Marion. So they ended up coming together, working some out and doing a remix. So <clears throat> but there was a problem at first, you know, so now uh Jaquez situation was similar to that. He went ahead and you know was getting paid off this song <laughs> and you know monetized it. So Ella May, they said, took it down and people was like, she's hating because it was better than the original. She didn't like it. Everybody liked his version better than her version. So she gonna take him off the song. So everybody attacked Ella May. So after that, you know, everybody went through this process. DJ Mustard is the one that had to come to her aid or come to the aid of the artist and say, to whom it may concern, our artist does not send out cease and desist. We do. When you monetize content you don't own, you are stealing and no one steals from 10 Summers. Ella has no say in the matter and any platform reporting any differently is spreading falsities. This is simply a press or marketing plan or some strategy to deviate from the narrative that Ella had put down. So, listen. I believe DJ Mustard 100% because that is the truth. I'm just like, what is the surprise and shock and awe about? They never agreed to work together to put out a remix or none of the sort. So, why is this such a big deal? I didn't, honestly, I wouldn't even go make a video about it. <laughs> I am super busy today. I am overloaded with work that I got to get done. So, I really didn't have any time for this. But I said, well, the people want it. The people been asking about it. So, let me go ahead and do it for them because I'm shocked it's went this far. To be honest, it just shows you how crazy social media is and how people are nuts nowadays. So they just need something to grab on hold to and they just run off with it. <coughs> Somebody just sent me a funny text. So anyhow, that text is funny. I don't know what they were thinking, but that was funny. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, man. And I'm going to just, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I mean, it's simple as ABC to me. I don't know what people don't understand about it. That's probably my confusion here. Like, what you don't understand. <laughs> Love to know.
But anyway, I'm out.